Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace. My name is Dave Madela and this is the very first off season of King of the Palace. Filmed, edited, and aired for a special edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Now, let's get to the action. Hi, this is Dave Madela with the first off season of King of the Palace brought to you by Watch Me Suck at Bowling and presented by and sponsored by Watch Me Suck at Bowling. With me, I have the number four seed and the number five seed, Joey Lister and Pete. Rishitelli. Rishitelli. <laughs> Boys, this is both your first time on the show. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, feel free to T tell me a little bit about yourselves. Uh, I bowl at uh, Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire. I've been bowling there since I was four. Yep, love that place. And yourself? I'm actually from the Cape and um, had the whole day today with nothing to do. So I saw this on Facebook and took it right up. And so far, so good. Excellent. Glad to have you guys. Thanks. Um, I think you guys, I watched both you guys bowl. And you guys are pretty close in average, 115, 111, respective. I think it's going to be a great match, man. And I hope oh, to yeah. see uh, one of you guys at the end. Sounds Hopefully good. We represent it well. Yep. All righty. Good luck, guys. I'll see you at the end. Thank you. Right. You are watching the first ever off-season King of the Palace presented by Watch Me Suck at Bowling. And the summer at edition. Up first, Pete Rishitelli. Rish 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 start with a hammer. Get much better than that. Nope, that was a good ball. Pete up on alley four. Oh, is he gonna open it up? Double. He's things, given three pins handicap. Things may sound different. This is off season, so we have Dean Sullivan sitting in and also our sponsor, George. Hopefully redeeming myself after my finish showing on the actual show. Up now on Alley 3, Joey Lister, another newcomer to the King of the Palace. With this edition of the summer edition of the King of the Palace, we actually turn around and we'll be crowning a new king, although Dan Chenard uh, is the reigning 80% handicap champion of the regular season. Since this is off season, new king be crowned. There's nothing wrong with two kings. That was a bad ball. That hurt. He's gonna have to pay me royalties on that shot. <laughs> good ten, good pin, good way to brush it off. Yeah, it's one of those things where uh, you just set it and forget it, man. It's totally different without hearing Steve squawk and how is Steve doing? He's fighting the good fight. Good. Lousy lead. Leaves the five seven. All you can do here is throw the ball and let the pins fall. Yep. You want to hit the hit the five pin straight on, and hopefully that piece of deadwood will come over and take the or seven. Take the corner of the deadwood. Right there. Oh, oh. nice try. Good nine box. All right, Pete's going to fill his spare. George, what do you think so far for the uh, King of the Palace offseason? Well, it's just started. So far, so good. Like I say, after after I listened to myself, Ooh. oh, wow, I remember that. How does that happen? Riverwalk. 189. That happened that, to me at Riverwalk. <laughs> that's just an ugly lead. But it is that's makeable. That's you clearly say, how does that happen? Nice offer. Nice bid. I heard myself on uh, when I was a guest on King of the Palace, and even I couldn't stand how horrible my comedy jokes and everything were. <laughs> Brandon. Well, how do you think I feel? Well, half the comments that I say after all the time. Because I remember <laughs> seeing people commenting, "Why don't you have George back on the show?" And I told him, "I don't think he wants to after after how horrible I was." 
this is my redemption, even though it's on my channel. It's redemption. <laughs> it's all right, even if it. it you, it's all in good, good clean fun. Get network. It is all in good clean fun. It, plus, it's all it is. It's fun. Plus, you're on a channel that Ooh. has over, I think, around 12,000 subscribers. Oh, well, there you and go. And 20, almost 20 million views. Nice. However, as, in terms of those that are watching the ball game, it's kind of establishing itself at the moment, so it's not exactly high, but, you know, sponsoring on King of the Palace, the main show, it's, it has spiked the numbers up quite a bit, because the first week, I would be lucky to get 50 views, and now I can get over 100 just the first day. Now that good ball. Spinning piece of wood. Five and ten on the deck. Oh, all makeable shot. Cap the wood. I, I just went to go look at the, the monitor. <laughs> yeah, there's no monitor here. This is a, literally. This is a D right down there. production here. Oh, oh nice try. That's and why, act that's why this channel is called George F 551s World of Crap. <laughs> and actually, to be honest with you, ten. Normally we would have a closed house, but there were some people that came in that wanted to do some open bowling that actually are huge fans of the King of the Palace. Oh, well then. And they hey, haven't missed an episode. Let them so bowl. I turned around and I told them, I was like, look at that, you guys got lucky to see wow, the King of the Palace. Wow, leave like three times now. You know, no, see the King of the Palace course. live. I don't agree with people that still call that the Woolworth, because last time I checked, Woolworth was not a five and seven cent store. Nice try. I think you gotta try to hit the ones that are standing up. Yeah, but not on that because it, the object is, unless you can cut that pin over directly, you ain't gonna get it. During by hitting the woods, you got a chance to send it off the wall and have it help you. During the qualifier, I actually threw a ball right down the middle of the plate and left, uh, Steve would be proud, I left the lily, no wood. Five, seven, ten. Wow. And I missed it for a five, for a seven box. <laughs> Now in alley three, Pete. He's got some working on that ball. He kind of throws like an outside spin. Yeah, he throws a off curve, but he's got like a 10 pin curve to it. Because during the roll off, I actually left the five, six, eight, nine, ten with no wood. Really? with a pocket here. That's what I call wishing it was a ball two moment. <laughs> right now Pete's up 12 box to box. Minus three so he's up nine. Right down the middle of the plate. Got Leaves a lot of help there. These nine and ten. Again, no monitor Dave with a lot of junk on the deck. All right, your old eyes can't see that. <laughs> no, I know I can't see it. From right. I'm so used to doing King of the Palace, I look to see the monitors. All over. Nice pickup. All right, well Joey needs to stop mocking if he wants to keep this one closed. He did pretty well in the quali qualifier. I mean, it could be just like nerves. Nerves, yeah. I mean, he didn't start off so hot. Oh, there it is. How does that happen? How does that happen? As Steve would say, you throw the ball 60 feet down the alley, you hit your object pin, and you get that. Dave took it from him. Oh, all over it. All right, get the fill. Get the couple. Good seven. Set it and forget it, man. Yeah. Just throw that ball right throw down the, the middle of the plate again. It'll be a different relief. Yep. Oh! Half wish to the left. My favorite shot. And as you say, it's pretty when it goes. That's how it pretty goes. How it goes. That's the way to bowl it. That's what I'm telling you. It's pretty when it goes. Well, they marked out on the same in the six. They both are sitting on spares. That helps Joey, and let's see what Pete can do to add to it. 
Right now, box to box, he's up 12. Oh, ooh. Five, that nine, seven, ten. Then. With a piece of wood up against the five. And I would have to go left Another. side of the red line. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, too far right. That wasn't it. Although, compared to my ability, much better. <laughs> Yo, it's so funny. I, I, I keep, um, nice Good 10 bucks. I keep looking over here for a monitor. <laughs> always, always, always. I, every time <laughs> I look, I'm like. And then I realize, no monitor. He does, he has he just that. slid by. He's got that outside spin. He's got such an outside spin on that ball, it's it curving. When it's on, it curves right in and it gives a lot of pin action. Yep. Where Joey's throwing more of a straight right to left ball and it's just going right into the pocket. This will be pretty if it goes. Ah, just slid by it. Well, here's the spiel. You know, now you got a monitor to look at. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Georgie. Oh, good nine. Or that nine. Unfortunately, the refresh rate's a little low, but it works. <laughs> King of the Palace Summer Edition is sponsored by Watch Me Suck at Bowling. Go to YouTube, type in Watch Me All Suck right. at Bowling, even though you're watching it. Well, you're watching the channel, but not the show. And see our Joey good friend George do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, and can I say phony baloney 10 pin bowling? Or am I going to well, get censored? You're not going to get censored. Okay, phony baloney 10 pin bowling. Thank even you though, very much. Even though the most. Oh, I oh nice off. The only time I think 10 pin is phony baloney is when they use the blue oil. Well, don't they use oil on all the alleys? Yeah, they do. So yeah. what? So what? The only the reason why it's blue is for TV purposes. Yeah, well, well it's not actually, always blue. I've also heard, it's actually I've also, not blue. I've also it's, heard that. Ooh, Ooh, there it is. How does that happen? Feet down the lane. Hit your object pin, and you're left with that. I can't believe it. I've also heard that a bunch of. You know, newer 10 pin bowlers can't play without the blue stuff because they can't see it. So they can't see it. Hence why I call it all the Nice pinning on that leave. I'm telling you. As for using the clear stuff. All right, eight box. Right now, Pete is up 14 Good. pins, 96 to 79. It's a three pin handicap going to Joey. Ball, ooh, he's got a crappy ooh. break out of that, but with his ball, that's all set up. As I look at the monitor, yeah, it still looks like all the pins are there according to the monitor that I drew for. Right there. Oh, oh. 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 ooh, oh, little thin, a little thin. Good that offer. That was a lot of thin. Good offer. See, we don't have monitors because we don't have a camp. Camera's on the deck. Oh, and get some So Dave looks for the monitor, so I drew a picture of a monitor with some really crappy looking candle pins. So yeah, and it looks like the one in the back is a 10 pin pin instead of a candle pin, and look how wide it is. Oh, well, yeah, it's the, well, you know what it is, is he had to make that one wider because he wanted to show his artistic ability oh, and try to screw with me. Okay. That's all. Okay. We're, trying to, we're trying to make the scores a little higher. <laughs> Good point. Well, Pete's leaving the door open for Joey if he can get a couple of marks in the ninth and tenth. He has a chance to shrink that lead. 114 for Pete. And he left the door open for Joey. Joey needs a couple of marks right here. Not bad for an opening. Nope, 114, yo. scratch. First time, marks. first time being on King of the Palace, yo. Know. And one of the good things I like about this, about doing the summer edition off season, oh, is that Bob if uh, people 
that don't do the TV show might come down and do this for the tryout and see how it is. And Exactly. Yeah, and it's a good thing to practice. It's a good thing to practice in the summer. Yep. 80% handicap. You get a lot of different types of bowlers. And a lot of familiar faces. Yep. A lot of us come down. It's a good, it's a great game. It's a lot of fun. It is. Off to the left a little bit. It'll be pretty when it goes. Oh, little. Well, the one good thing is, is that it's not an outrageous score. Yeah, anything's possible. You can overcome that easily. All right, so a 95, 98 for Pete, for Joey. And Pete's got a 114. So Pete is up. That's with the three, yeah? Yep, it's yep. 16 pin difference. All right, Oops. string number two. Joey, Can he hold on, or does Joey come back and win? Good looking ball. There's the McCleary with help. Yeah, he's just like a hair off. Yeah, he's a fraction off that head pin. Minor adjustments. Oh, ooh. Ooh. little fold. A lot of, a lot of sap. <laughs> Bob takes another bit. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, right, right the through, bunny hole. Right through the hoop, no grease. That was a rabbit hole. No, oh, that was the rabbit hole. What about a chipmunk hole? Too small. Oh. That's a good looking ball. Right down the middle of the plate. And All right, if that wood stays there. Boned. That definitely oh. a makeable spare. Left side of the red line on the three pin. Right there. Bang. Boom. Nice pick nice up. Ball. That was a perfect shot. So George, tell me, you have any any new videos coming up? Well, these of course. Right. And I've got a new episode of Watch Me Suck at Cuphead that's coming out. Nice. If uh Off if to the you've left. played games like uh Contra Mega Man, which I never have. It's kind of like that, except it's based on the very early 1930s, complete with the animation. Ooh. And if you compare it to a bowling alley, it's like the Masons of platform shooters. It's ridiculously hard. You um been playing that Fortnite? No, I I don't have much time between Minecraft work and the occasional cup of good nice ten. ten. For me. Aren't you a little old to be playing video games? No. Okay. I still play video games. Wow, I'm really old then. And for those very people in the very specialized... Uh, That's nice you come pick right up. back and match Drop the it a bomb. The very odd specialized, well I shouldn't say odd, because I enjoy odd things as well, is I gotta put together a video of the, one of the... One of two working mall elevators that we're in, North Shore Mall. No, yeah, North Shore Mall. Oh, oh he's going to get some help here. Oh, That's big a break. break. Not bad for the ocean. Eight fill on the spare helps. Waiting for the wood to all settle down. Never understood why I got into that kind of stuff, but I. Nothing wrong with it. Nice, nice way up. to get two in a row. You know, to be honest with you, I actually play video games to keep the the mind fresh. A lot of people do. And active. Yeah, that, I just unfortunately cool. never have time to. I work too much. It's busy out in the out in the field killing things. Well, that's during the winter. Oh, good fill on the spare. What would Steve say? Leaves one nine of the. Leaves the triangle, right there. No. Nope. The Mongols. Mongols. Yes, Mongols. Is it sad that I don't even watch my own show? Nothing wrong with it, though. Well, probably because you know what's happened. 
I've well, you, and you don't want to see what you do because you don't want to change who you are. Exactly. So that's why, why watch, it's why that's, watch and try it. Oh, I can't do that on TV anymore. So it's not worth it. Where that's I why it's care. hard. That's why it, that's why it's hard sometimes to watch it and know that I, there's certain things. Oh, oh there's a double. double. Oh, he's definitely gonna add that's, pins on his lead here. That's why it's it, 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 it's hard to watch it because knowing that um, when I started the show, there was things I could say Is that, that I triple? wasn't sensitive. Oh, could be, could be, could oh. be, could be. Oh, oh what a, a seven pill. pin. He leaves what I call the new palace left. With a whole bunch of junk That's on the deck. Screwed out of a strike in a, in a Pete's just actually starting to put the screws down now. Oh, yeah, Pete's going to run the ladder. Oh, oh. Over it. what a ball. That curve helped him there. Yeah. Yeah, that just, he's up. 15 on top right now, he's plus 31 total in the match. Nice double strike. Two good balls. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ouch. Now that's a cluster. That's a picket fence. That's a cluster bunch right there. That's a Pete, that, that's one that Steve wouldn't even know what to say. Uh, uh, uh. Nice offer. Dean, what is the only title that you haven't held yet? The scrap, the... Scratch. That's the only one that you haven't the held? The only one I have, haven't held. Right now I have the mixed doubles title. I've had the doubles title, the single 80% title. Hey, it's the MK to the left. Yeah, but there's two, two missing, not three. Is there? Oh, yeah. yeah. No monitor. I know. You know, if you want, I'll put my cell phone there. <laughs> Good night. Leaving these the finger of God. All right, well, Pete, Pete, has a, Pete has a really, really good chance to put it almost out of reach. What would Steve call that? A clipped wing? Yep. Spread eagle? Spread eagle with a clipped wing. Oh, oh and he makes nice. it! Nice! What Get a call! Yeah, and now he now he's definitely uh, adding on to that lead. He's up. And I call that a dead eagle. Ouch. Another five, Phil, but he can pick this one up like he just did that one. This one might seem a little bit, uh... Rapidly. Ooh! Oop, through the rabbit hole. Tried to throw the hip into it to get it over, but... He had already got the head pin. Yep. There it is. Good offer. All right, right now, after six, the score is 63 for Joey, 97 for Pete. This is almost academic right now, unless so Joey decides to open something up. He's got 62 pin lead. Joey's gonna going into the final four. Joey's going to throw a mark right now. All right, he got a chance at one. He's got to hope Pete goes cold and he can run the ladder. Looks like a good ball. Ooh, Ooh, a little full. A lot of fat. That one went into the frying pan. <laughs> Two people coming up the staircase. Now that I figured out what the beeping noise was. That is not the, that is not the sound of fries being done. No. Half, half was the left. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I was going to say the fry light is ready. <laughs> Is he going to oh, get it? Oh, it would have been pretty when it went. He already picked one of those up earlier. Yep. Wait a minute. Ooh. Uh, right short it. Man, get it measured. 
Ah, good time. All right, so Pete has a chance to put this out of reach by throwing a couple of marks. One mark and we'll put it at 70 where the four bagger won't even help. No, he's got a break there. Not bad for the ocean. Leaves the one eight. Yeah, one nine. One nine. With a piece of wood to help. Oh, he got the nine, missed the one. Leaves the middle finger of the bowling box. Tells the bowling gods what he thinks of him. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't blame him there. So he's now at plus 64 for the match. And that looks like a great oh. ball. Leaves a seven pin with a piece of wood rolling up. And... Oh, it's going to stay there and not turn. Nope, this is a slap and tickle. As slap Dave and tickle. It. Nine box, unfortunately. Well, he left the door open slightly. No, he'd have to throw up the four bag and won't even give it to him. He'd be down three points. Handicaps. If you use Common Core math, he still has a chance. <laughs> Not this really. is very true. Common Core math, anything is possible. That oh, put, there it is, that baby. Just put it out of reach. Right down the middle of the plate, you hit your object pin in. That's like the third time he's How done that. How does that, that happen? Yeah. Even that common core's not gonna help. Ooh. Ooh! Now he's just clipping wings. Now he just shot the wing off the bird and it's plummeting to the ground. That's chopping right there. And he takes the. Oh, one more. So, it looks like Pete's gonna move on to bowl against Brian. Yeah. Ryan Robinson, another new coming to the King wow. of the Palace. He's got that hoof half Worcester down pat today. I'm gonna tell you, that has to be one of the hardest names I ever have to pronounce. Rashetti. Oh, he's all the way now. I think he's in Lowell. As long as I can read it when I put it on the scorecards. Oh, ah. perfect. As I say, welcome to Mesa's. Wow. That was... Ooh, snuck right by. Well, Joey finished with a 195. For Pete. All right, Pete will move on and next week he will face Brian Robinson. I want to take the opportunity to say thank you to everyone out on YouTube and Facebook for tuning in to the first ever off-season King of the Palace presented by, sponsored by Watch Me Suck at Bowling and Dean for sitting in and of course our sponsor. Wow, what a ball. George for making all of this possible. I wouldn't say this was possible. And a six. Yeah, regardless, the only thing that's different is you get to actually see it. Pete finishes with a oh. 256. Great match by both players. Pete just showed him how to bowl. Thank you again for tuning in. Enjoyed it. To the King of the Palace. And uh, we will see you next and, week. And uh, what do we heard? Pretty usual, like, just like the other show, we don't call it the 11th box, but get the interview at the end. Alrighty, let's get to myself and wrap her up. Congratulations, Pete, on your very first appearance on the King of the Palace. And. Uh, Pretty good bowling, man. Thank you very much. It's like a dream so far. Hopefully it doesn't end. Well, you know what? You have another uh, ladder to climb. Oh, I know. And uh, I've seen him in qualifying, and he was throwing some pretty good balls, too. We were on the same lane together, actually. Really? So I had a front row seat. Wow. Yeah. So, this, so next week you'll be facing... 
Brian. And uh, congratulations, and we'll see uh, what you can do next week. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And this is the ladder after the first game. Joey Lister is bumped out of the competition, and Pete moves on. He meets Brian Robinson, which bowled a 642 5 gamer versus Pete's 636. Dan and Dean are in the wings just waiting to see who wins this next epic battle. King of the Palace Summer Edition, brought to you by Kingpin Productions, produced by Georgia 551's World of Crap. Scores displayed on the scorecards are from official scorecards in the competition. 